Hey there pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime Nomi channel. Blackbeard is one of the most powerful and mysterious men of today, competing with Shanks for the title of most mysterious among the Yonkos. Constantly, Blackbeard sets out in search of new powerful subordinates to create the most fearsome crew that exists. In the most recent chapters of One Piece, we saw him trying to recruit Gecko Moria, whom everyone thought had lost his life in the Battle of the Best two years ago, but who somehow survived and may ally with a Yonko. But do you know how Blackbeard intends to use this power? In today's video, I will reveal everything. So before we go to the video, comment on which devil fruit you would like to have, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, leave your like, and share it with your friends. I also hope I can help you achieve your dream of learning to draw your favorite anime and manga characters, doing whatever you want in the way you imagined, something that becomes easy when you have access to the incredible course Anime Express by teacher Noah Williams, which costs less than $1 a day. So check the link in the description to learn in just a few weeks. Now, let's get to the video. Guys, we know that few people have the potential to create the most powerful crew of all time. After all, it would be necessary to find unique talents that do not let their natural gifts surpass their willpower. However, for Gekko Moria, this is not a problem. After all, he can bring the talents of the past back to life and control them effortlessly. For those who do not remember, Moria was once a known and powerful pirate of the New World, but became an even more powerful pirate to rival Kaidu, who decimated his first crew. Thus, he became a Shichibukai, seeking a way to gain more and more power to defeat Kaidu. Ten years before the current story, Moria met the Dr. Hogback and brought Hogback's beloved deceased Victoria Sindri back to life with his ability from the Cage Cage No Me Fruit. With Hogback and his allies, Moria formed the ship Thriller Bark and began capturing people to steal their shadows and create zombies. As I mentioned, Moria ate the devil fruit called Cage Cage No Me, which is a paramecia type. This fruit allows him to control shadows as physical beings, able to create an army of zombies by stealing shadows from living people and placing them in corpses. And this is a power Teach desires. He wants to control the most powerful and bring them to his crew, Marshall D. Teach is known for his selectivity when recruiting members for his crew, refusing to accept those he considers weak. We saw how he was ruthless in making the prisoners of Impel Down fight each other to invite the survivors to his crew. He also demonstrated this during his fight against Ace, when he preferred to try to recruit Ace instead of taking his life, believing it would be a waste for someone so powerful to lose their life there. After the events of Marineford, Teach captured Bonnie and, realizing she was weak, left her to be captured by a Kainu, further reinforcing his aversion to recruiting people he considers weak. However, it is not for his strength that he desires Moria's power. In fact, Teach would steal the fruit from him if necessary to achieve his plans. From his actions, we can see that he did not need the fruit for his main plan, but would not refuse this power. Marshall D. Teach, known as Blackbeard, could use Gecko Moria's power in extraordinary ways to strengthen his position and achieve his goals. This power opens up a range of possibilities for Teach, especially in resurrecting legendary figures like Ace, Whitebeard, and Goldie Roger. Firstly, by bringing Ace and Whitebeard back as zombies, Teach would not only recover two of the world's most powerful and influential pirates, but also put them under his control. Even without their devil fruits, they would provide devastating strength to Teach's his army. With these two at his disposal, he could easily dominate large areas of the New World, intimidate other Yonkos, and even challenge the world government. It is worth remembering that, somehow, Teach is capable of taking devil fruit powers from important characters and giving them to his crew, and this might also be possible with the revived bodies. The true masterstroke, however, would be the resurrection of Gold D. Roger. Roger was not only the king of the pirates, he was the only one who had reached the legendary island of Raftal and discovered the secret of the One Piece. Using Roger's shadow would mean bringing back someone with unparalleled knowledge about the Grand Line and the One Piece itself. Roger's body, aligned with an ideal shadow, could retain necessary instincts and ideals which would serve as a key for Teach. Just as we saw Sanji's shadow retained its characteristics, the correct ideals in Roger would be no different, facilitating the path to the One Piece. With Roger, Ace, and Whitebeard by his side, Teach would not only increase his military power, but also gain vast historical renown, giving him an unquestionable strategic advantage. 
He could use Roger to navigate safely through the dangers of the new world and overcome the challenges guarding the One Piece. Whitebeard and Ace, with their devastating abilities, could eliminate any resistance, ensuring Teach's victory in crucial battles. And as I mentioned, this would give a strategic advantage by affecting potential adversaries as they would fear the renown of these pirates. However, fear is not the only reaction from Teach's enemies. After all, we have the Luffy factor. Luffy hated the fact that Gekko Moria was manipulating bodies and stealing shadows. However, it would be even worse considering that Teach, Luffy's enemy, and directly responsible for Ace's death, would be controlling the bodies of three important people to him. After all, Luffy formed a great bond with Edward Newgate, Whitebeard, during the Battle of the Best at Marineford, since both were fighting to protect the same person, to save Ace. The same thing would happen with Ace himself, Luffy's brother. This would shock Luffy and make him furious. The same would happen with the return of a person Luffy had never met, Goldie Roger. This character was Luffy's inspiration to become a pirate, and Luffy would be watching Roger's legacy being destroyed by Blackbeard's greedy and narcissistic actions. So imagine Luffy's reaction upon seeing Teach using the bodies of Goldie Roger, Whitebeard, Ace, and other characters. It would be extremely intense. I think we could imagine Luffy being in a state of shock, fury, and mainly filled with pain and sadness. I think initially, Luffy would be completely shocked and incredulous upon seeing the bodies of Ace, Whitebeard, and Goldie Roger being used as zombies by Blackbeard. Seeing Ace, his dear brother, brought back in this way would leave him with a mix of fear and anger. And yes, after the initial shock, Luffy would feel overwhelming anger. He has always had a deep hatred for Blackbeard, since he found out that he was the one who handed Ace over to the Navy, which you know resulted in Ace's execution. Using Ace's body as a tool would be an unforgivable act for Luffy. This anger would be multiplied upon seeing Goldie Roger and Whitebeard, both men he deeply respected, being manipulated in such a disrespectful way. Even if he managed to stop this, Luffy would feel deep pain seeing his brother Ace in this state. Ace's loss was one of the most traumatic experiences of Luffy's life, and seeing him used as a puppet by Blackbeard would reopen those wounds. Luffy would not accept seeing all this happening to these people, and this would make him move the Straw Hat Pirates into action, a battle that could trigger the grand final battle. After all, Teach would not just bring these figures back. He has already destroyed many powerful crews just to increase his dominion or to steal a specific devil fruit from among the crew members, so he would easily attack powerful crews just to steal their shadows. Therefore, we could expect characters like Odin, Kaido, and Big Mom if they really lost their lives after falling into the lava. Even Ryuma Shimotsuki could be brought back to increase the crew's strength, in addition to characters who could bring sentimental shocks to other characters, such as Pedro, Rosinante Corazon, and King Cobra. With this, it becomes clear that Marshal D. Teach has a bold plan to increase his power. Using Gecko Moria's power to bring legendary figures like Goldie Roger, Whitebeard, and Ace back to life is a strategic move that would not only increase his military power, but also deeply affect the emotions of his enemies, especially Luffy. Luffy, who already carries emotional scars from Ace's loss, and the battle at Marineford would see his hatred and fury reach a new peak upon confronting Blackbeard controlling the bodies of his loved ones and heroes. The inevitable confrontation between Luffy and Teach could come faster due to the cruel manipulation of the bodies of such important figures, and this promises to be one of the most epic and exciting battles in One Piece history. So, guys, what do you think? Will Luffy be able to overcome this terrible ordeal and defeat Blackbeard? Which other legendary characters do you think could be resurrected to fight alongside Teach? Leave your opinions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more One Piece theories and analyses. See you next time. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.